orders. Finish her. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Welcome back to Mass Effect 3, the more modded Mass Effect 3. This is Hill, and we are here on Mars with Liara and Ashley. And I have done some modifications to the lighting, which I hope will make a, a difference. I've turned on the dynamic shadows in the Mass Effect settings, and I've also done some brightening. So, I mean, from here, everything looks okay, but you never know. But I'm hoping that those dark faces are behind us. All right, here we go. Shepard. Elusive man. Fascinating race, the Protheans. They left all this for us to discover, but we squandered it. The Alliance has known about the Archives for more than 30 years. And what have they done with it? What do you want? What I've always wanted. The data in these artifacts holds the key to solving the Reaper threat. I've seen your solution. Your people are turned into monsters. Hardly. They're being improved. Improved? That's what separates us, Shepard. Where you see a means to destroy, I see a way to control, to dominate and harness the Reaper's power. Imagine how strong humanity would be if we controlled them. You're deluded. You've gone too far. The Reapers will kill us all if we don't stop fighting each other. I don't expect you to understand, Shepard. And I'm certainly not looking for your approval. You were a tool. An agent with a singular purpose. And despite our differences, you were relatively successful. But like the rest of the rebels in this place, your time is over. Enough talk. Liara. Don't interfere with my plan, Shepard. I won't warn you again. Duly noted. Shepard. What? The data, it's not here. It's being erased. Goodbye, Shepard. Damn it. How's he doing it? It's local. Someone's uploading the information. Hey! Step away from the console. Now! Then she looks. Stay close. We can't lose her. No. Wow. Okay.
Normandy. Get them down here now. There's no way I could miss. Wow. Seeing too many scratches on that shuttle. So from what I can tell, it looks like the, the shadows and whatnot, everything seems to be in order now. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Ashley needs medical attention. We have to leave the soul system. I know. The Citadel is our best chance. We can find help there. Get us to the Citadel, Joker. Roger that. Hold on, Ash. See what you and Edie can learn from that thing. Commander, I'm receiving a signal over the secondary QEC. I believe it's Admiral Hackett. Patch me through. I'll forward it to the call room. Commander. Edie, can you clear this up? I'll do my best. Did you get to the archives? I was there. So was the elusive man. I was worried Cerberus might try something. Did you get the data? Most of it. He downloaded some before I could stop him. Edie and Liara are analyzing what we recovered. What have you learned? Was it worth the effort? Preliminary evidence suggests the data is a blueprint for a Prothean device. Device? A weapon, massive in size and scope, that's capable of unquantifiable levels of destruction. Send me the data. We'll do our own analysis. If Liara's instincts are right, this might be the key to stopping the Reapers. I hope so. Ashley's been hurt. We're taking her to the Citadel. Sorry to hear that, Shepard. But we both know this is just the beginning. Talk to the Council, show them what you found. 
With luck, they'll give you all the support we need. And if they don't? Do whatever it takes to get them on board. I'll be in touch soon. Hack it out. Commander. Edie is extracting data from the Cerberus machine. We'll have details to present to the Council by the time we reach the Citadel. A dash? I've done what I can for her. She needs proper medical attention soon. The Admiral's right. It's going to get worse, isn't it? Unless we stop the Reapers. Yeah. I've looked at the data. This weapon could be the answer, if we can build it. I get the sense you don't quite believe it, though. Yeah, it is hard to believe. You didn't see what they did to Earth. How is one weapon supposed to stop them? What are our options? You know we can't win this conventionally. Commander? Isn't it worth trying, at least? I'm going to check on Ash. Make sure we're ready to present our findings to the Council. I'm sure the Council will see the need to help. It'll be a hell of a short war if they don't. That's for sure. Barely got a pulse here. Move him out. Where are you taking her? Where to Memorial. Best care in the Citadel. We're not going with? We need to see the Council. Right. Here he comes with his silver hair. That's ME3 like recalibrated, people. Commander Shepard. Got word you were Wow. Arriving. Look Captain at Bailey. Bailey. Good to see you again. Yeah, you too. Though it's Commander now. Ah, well, congratulations. Uh, thanks. Now half my job is dealing with political bullshit and escorting dignitaries around. No offense. None taken. So, you're here to bring us to the Council? I'm here to tell you the Council is expecting you, but they are dealing with their own problems with the war and everything. Uh, they apologize for the inconvenience and blah, 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 blah. Meet them here at Adina's office. They'll be ready soon enough. All right. You might have time to go by the medical center if you want to check on progress over there. All right, that sounds like a good idea. Thanks. I might do that. You go on ahead. I'll head up to Adina's office. One of my men can show you the way. You? I'm just a tourist today. I'll try not to get in any trouble. Commander, we've got a situation in the embassy quarters. We could use your help. Hmm. I'll be right there. The other half of my job. <laughs> I'll see you around, Shepard. No doubt. Yeah, it was really odd that they decided to change his hair color between Mass Effect 2 and Mass Effect 3. I mean, there was nothing wrong with the silver hair, except for the fact that the character the voice actor played in Skyrim, General Tullius, also had silver hair, but really, could that have possibly had anything to do with this? Let's hope not. All right. Wow, we made it through to Mars, from Mars to the Citadel, 
and there have been some issues with these mods, people. I had to disable Project Variety. Um, we couldn't get to the Citadel uh, as we were en route, and also while we were talking to Admiral Hackett, the game kept crashing. And I don't know what it was. Something told me Project Variety, Project Variety. So I go online, look it up, look up the bugs. There it is reported that it crashed to death desktop while talking to Admiral Hackett in the QEC. And that's, that's how it all started. So by disabling it, it looks like we're able to continue. So we'll have to strike Project Variety, Variety from this list, from the mod list uh, for now. But all right, we're going to stop here, and I'm going to cobble together all the um, data that I have here, all the recording that I have here to make this uh, episode three, and then we will continue from there. I uh, thank you all for watching. This is Hill, and I'm out.